to solve the problem. And now uh, we are about to uh, come the draft resolution uh, paper. We are working on the working paper. And actually all the delegates uh, except when it's delegation of the Venezuela in the opinion of the uh, creating regulations uh, about on the activities of PMC countries but uh, the United States of America and other uh, agreed countries hope that the we will find uh, very possible and realistic solutions for the issue of Venezuela and we will find the ways how to collaborate with this country as well. Now, I will, uh, the delegation of the United States of America, thanks to all the delegates again, for their contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any, is there any motion to raise in the House? And the uh, delegation of Republic and Republic of Venezuela has been recognized. And the Russian Federation, France, and the United States of America have been recognized. So, well, Belgium. 
also. And the uh, Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, the floor is yours. So, thank you, Honorable Chairs. So, our motion topic is banning uh, PMC in United Nations countries for 10 minutes and 5 minutes for each region. Sorry, the delegation of Venezuela, we now have only four minutes and uh, I would you, the, the dais would recommend uh, members to raise a motion to proceed coffee break. The delegation of France has been organized. <laughs> so the motion goes to the voting procedure. Uh, the, those who are in favor of this motion, raise your placards, please. Uh, with a simple majority, the motion is accepted. And you have uh, 24 minutes for the uh, break. And uh, we will meet here at 3 o'clock.
Institute of Yemen and the United States of America. Honorable Delegate of Yemen. So, uh, honorable Delegates, so now we will proceed with general debate session continuation. Uh, final drafting of the resolution paper today. So, Chair, uh, uh, so uh, as I heard, uh, the chair has recognized the, the uh, in moderate causes. So, one minute for each delegate and five minutes for discussion. Could you repeat your uh, subtopic, please? Banning PNT in United Nations countries. Any PMC? Very In United Nations countries. In United Nations member states. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, point of order. Point of order. Point of order by the United States of America. Uh, thank you very much, uh, the Honorable uh, Chairperson. The delegation of the United States of America would kind of ask from the Chairperson to uh, take the realistic uh, motions, realistic actions on the uh, like to, to discuss in the House. So the uh, motion offered, suggested by the delegation of Venezuela, uh, can be considered as a Little, not little to some extent, unrealistic idea and realistic opinion. Thank you. Yes. Uh, if you think our topic for discussion is unrealistic, just object our motion. Excellent. So, Chair takes this into consideration. Uh, the Honorable Delegate of the United States, please stay in the framework of the uh, Rules of procedure for our conference. Thanks a lot. So, and one more thing, it is not our right or it's not um, our thing to judge your statements. We don't know if it's uh, realistic or unrealistic. Therefore, we are so sorry. Thanks a lot. So, um, the House, we have uh, the motion by the, uh, raised by the delegate of Venezuela. Um, banning EMC in the UN member states. So, is there any objection in the House? Banning PMC in the UN member states with five minutes of overall time and one minute, one minute for each delegate. Is there any objection in the House? Since we have objection, we need to hold voting. So, is there any Delegates were in favor of this motion. Please uh, raise your placards and keep them high. So, uh, honorable delegate of uh, so you're raising, right? Okay. So, could you could you raise them and keep them? Okay. So in favor. In favor. In favor. In favor of this motion, please. So, uh, delegates, uh, please raise your placards high and keep them if you are in favor of this motion. So, yeah, the first uh, was the delegate of Russian Federation. The floor is yours. Feel very recognized. So according to our schedule, our agenda today, we cannot um, allocate you 10 minutes since we have only about 5 minutes, uh, more or less. 
This motion answer is called for five minutes. Okay, so um, we have a motion by the uh, delegate of the Russian Federation uh, to move to uh, unmoderated caucus uh, with the overall time of five minutes. Is there any objection in the House? Delegates, be, uh, please uh, be reminded that you need to uh, first draft and we also need to approve your resolutions. You need to check it? Okay. So keep this in mind. Thanks a lot. But is there any objection in the house? Since we have objection, we need to hold um, voting. So is there any uh, delegates or like uh, in, in favor of this motion? In favor. So, China, you're raising right? So, one, two. So, the motion is failed. So, honorable, honorable delegates, we, uh, the honorable delegate of Peru has been recognized. Yes, sir. You're watching? I'm uh, watching. Okay. Uh, so, delegates, you have five minutes left uh, until resolution approval and uh, voting and adopting the resolution. So, we have final period of time, final chance. The last chance to demonstrate all of your abilities. Anything? So, uh, Chair recognized the de uh, delegate of the United States of America. Ah, thank you very much, Honorable Chairperson. The United uh, States of America would like to uh, give extra five minutes with the uh, left time to complete a final resolution paper and to make it ready for the approval. Thank you. So, um, so you need to start approving the resolution. Right? So, in which form? You need to moderate it or unmoderate it, focus? Ah, okay. Motion. Okay, the delegation of Mass America would like to raise a motion on unmoderated caucus with total time of 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, sir. Okay. Uh, House, we have a motion by the delegate of the United States of America to move to have a moderated caucus uh, with total time of. Unmoderated. Uh, yeah, unmoderated caucus with total time of uh, 10 minutes. Time limit for caucusing is 10 minutes. 10, 10 minutes. So, is there any objection in the House? We have. Uh, we have objection. We need to. So, is there uh, who is in favor of this motion? Please raise your placards high and keep them. Well, delegations, we would like to ask from all of you to come. Uh, in one honorable one. delegate, we haven't uh, finished our speech. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, honorable delegates, you have 10 minutes. You need to be back at uh, 3.28. Okay, uh, honorable delegates, let's get you in one place. And we wish, we would like to ask from all of you to give your own proposals, which are going to be incorporated in the final draft, uh, final resolution paper. So all of you are welcome here to make contribution. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, 
So, honorable delegation of France, what is your suggestion for the resolution draft of the United States? Not the United States. Delegation of France. Yeah. You guys rock. So, what, what is your suggestion? Yes. Um, that, that's cool. Cool. I, I do, I do. Final warning. You may be excluded from the session. Honorable Delegate of Peru. Honorable Delegate of United Kingdom. Honorable Delegate of United States of America. Honorable Delegate of Yemen. United States, now you'll get your final warnings, after which you may be excluded. Honorable Delegate of uh, Equatorial Junior.
house, please come to order. So now, uh, time for informal, um, unmoderated focus has elapsed. Now we'll proceed with. Um, Approval of the resolution papers. Is there any resolution, track resolution papers in the house? Honorable delegate of the United States have been recommended. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chairperson. Uh, as a one block, uh, all the delegates uh, tried to make contributions to create a powerful resolution paper and now we have one resolution, final resolution paper and the delegation of the United States of America are, is ready to present the resolution paper. Uh, thank you very much, dear delegate. So now uh, the delegation, the delegate of the United States of America. So, is there only one resolution, draft resolution paper in the house? Yes. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, now, like, in... So, you have 10 minutes, honorable delegate of the United States of America. If, if you like, if the House will decide to uh, observe the uh, resolution paper, you may switch it off. Is there any motion? Yes. Moved. Honorable Delita. Thanks. Uh, we, of course, wanted uh, to see on the board to see the draft resolution. Uh, Dear delegate, please clarify your motion. Delegation of Islamic Republic of Pakistan wants to see the draft resolution on the board. That's good. Okay, thanks a lot. So, is there any objection in the house? Seeing none, this motion is passed. Uh, honorable delegates, the screen is ready now. Now uh, we'll give the floor to the delegate of uh, United States of America to present the resolution paper, the draft resolution paper. So we have 10 minutes from now. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate the person. And thank you very much the honorable delegates of our Security Council. Here the resolution paper. The committee is United Nations Security Council, sponsor countries, United States of America, the United Kingdom, Russian Federation, France, and People's Republic of China. Signatories, Cote d'Ivoire, Dominican Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Federal Republic of Germany, Belgium, Peru, Turkey, Kuwait, Poland, and the topic is threat of privatization of interstate conflicts. First of all, the current situation, emphasizing the point that reaffirming the general principles enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations, the urge on obligations related to the protection of human rights and the strict adherence to principles of the sovereign equality of all states, the territorial integrity and political in in independence of every state the right of self-determination of peoples, the prohibition of the threat or use of force in international relations, the prohibition of propaganda for war and the prohibition, prohibition of interference in affairs which are essentially within the domestic jurisdiction of any state. 
taking into consideration the international convention against the recruitment, use, financing and training and of mercenaries as well as the convention of Arab United uh, States for the elimination of mercenarism in Africa. Considering that responsibility for violations of international humanitarian and human rights may be in, must be devised to ensure the accountability of states, intergovernmental organizations, and PMSCs. Taking into account the adoption of codes of conduct, but considering the self-regulation of private military and security companies is not sufficient to ensure the observance of international humanitarian law and human rights law by the personnel of these companies. Pinning of the option that effective protection requires appropriate national and international legislation in order to adopt and implement mechanisms to ensure enforcement. Considering the urgency for states, parties to agree on international minimum legal standards to regulate the activities of PMSEs. Solutions. Bearing in the mind the fundamental principles of international law on the prohibition of the threat and use of force on equal sovereignty of states, is proposed to regulate the activities of private security companies and subcontractors, to promote international cooperation between states regarding licensing and regulation of the activities of private security companies in order to more effectively address any challenge to the full implementation of the peace building activities in the countries where including the right to self-determination, to establish and implement mechanisms to monitor the activities of private security companies and violations of international human rights and humanitarian law, in particular any illegal or arbitrary use of force committed by private sector uh, private security companies to prosecute the perpetrators and to provide effective remedies to the victims. States parties shall take all necessary legislative, judicial and administrative measures pursuant to existing or emerging provisions of their domestic laws to ensure that private security companies do not engage in illegal activities or in arbitrary use of force. Each state party shall ensure that private security companies and their personnel under no circumstance carry out activities that undermine the sovereignty of another state. Its territorial integrity and that contravene the principle of sovereign equality and obligation of non-intervention in the domestic affairs of the other states and the principles of self-determination of peoples. Each state's party shall ensure that any contract or agreement between the state party and private security companies on provision of military and security services entered into by a private sectors and its employees is in accordance with international law and is consistent with the legislation of laws. The main action of private security companies should be an assistance to states in terms of defense ministry design, also offer strategic advice. Among three types of private military companies, namely military provider firms should be limited. Second, military consulting firms. Third, military, military support to provide logistics should be supported. Next, United Nations should establish commission on regulating private military security companies under Security Council. Next, to give spe special status for private military companies, actors of interested com conflicts in case they they receive offer from official government to create an international act of contract contract between the private military companies and country which hired it must follow certain rules which controls its legitimacy one of the main functions of private military companies should be operating anti-piracy actions
Thank you very much. Uh, this is the uh, dra draft resolution of the Security Council. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear uh, Honorable Delegate of the United States of America. So now, um, the Chair has some remarks in the resolution paper. Uh, the first thing I should mention is uh, this resolution paper does not fit to the form that we apply. Uh, so yeah, and it means you have, like, we have, for example, uh, up to 10 times you may review and correct the resolution papers. It means this is, like, first um, review is not accepted. So, no, do not to um, lose time. Just bring your draft. We'll correct. Uh, Commands. And after that, as you ask, if you have commandments, just you will raise your motions. Uh, we need a motion from any of you in the house. Nessus, the United States of America has been recognized. The delegation of the United States of America would like to uh, raise a motion on the uh, process of making amendments on the resolution paper and correcting the resolution paper. Uh, we cannot accept your motion. We may only accept correcting one, not amendment. And the delegation of the United America would like to raise a motion on the making corrections to the uh, resolution paper. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, is there any objection in the House? Seeing none, this motion has passed. Uh, actually, it's like time for it, like it's also uh, informal composing if you want to talk. Uh,
Please come to order. Uh, chair approves uh, the format of this resolution paper. Uh, and we are done with that. Everything is okay. The only thing left is if you want to make amendments, just uh, raise your placards. So uh, the chair recognizes the, the delegate of uh, United States of America. of America um, making amendments uh, with five minutes uh, total amount of time. So is there any objection in the house? Seeing now. Seeing we have uh, two objections. Anyway, is there any objection in the house? So as we have objection, we need to um, conduct, carry out uh, voting procedure. Is there any delegates in favor of this motion? Of the motion by the United States of America? Please uh, raise your black cards high and keep them. Who are in favor? In favor? In favor? So, Bear in mind, you are not voting for the adoption of the resolution. It is for making amendments. So, who is who is in favor? Okay, raise your placards high and keep them. One, two, three. So, uh, with simple majority, this motion has passed. Any motions in the house? 
Uh, seeing none, we'll move to presenting this uh, final version of your resolution paper. Uh, is there any volunteers? Yeah. Uh, Honorable Delegate of People's Republic of China has been recognized. Uh, Unity Computer Blockchain. of Interstate Conflict, Resolution 2nd Version, 2019, GPEAFDA Security Council Resolution Review 3rd Version, 2019. The Security Council, adopted by the Security Council at its second meeting on 25th of March, 2019. The Security Council, emphasizing the point that reaffirming the general principles and and share it in the chart from the United Nations the urgent onus obligation related to the protection of human rights and the strict adherence to principles of the sovereign equality of all states, the territorial integrity and political independence of every state, the right of self-determination of people, the prohibition of the threat or the use of force in the international relations, the prohibition of pro propaganda for war and the prohibition of interference in affairs which are essentially within the domestic jurisdiction of any state. Taking into consideration the International Convention against the recruitment, use, financing and training of mercenaries as well as the OAU Convention for the Elimination of Mercenaries in Africa. Considering the responsibility for violation of international law, taking into account the adoption of codes of conduct, but considering that self-regulation of private military and security companies is not sufficient to ensure the observance of international humanitarian law and human rights law by the presence of these companies. Being of the point, the effective protection requires appropriate national and international legislation in order to adopt and implement mechanisms to ensure enforcement. Bearing in mind the fundamental principles of international law on the prohibition of the threat and use of forces and the unequal sovereign of states, proposes to regulate the activities of PMCS and subcontractors, promotes international cooperation between states regarding licensing and regulation of the activities of PMCS in order to more effectively address any challenges to the fulfillment of implementation of peace building activities in the countries where including the right to self-determination. Implements mechanisms to monitor the activities of PMCS and violations of international human rights and humanitarian law, in particular any illegal or arbitrary use of force committed by PMCS to prosecute the perpetrator uh, and to provide effective remedies to the victims. Encourage states, parties shall take all necessary legislative, judicial and administrative measures pursuant to existing or emerging provisions of their domestic laws to ensure that private, uh, private mechanisms do not engage in illegal activities or in arbitrary use of force. Ensure that private uh, military security councils and their pers uh, personnel under their circumstance circumstances carry out activities that undermine the sovereign of another state in territorial integrity or that convince the principle of sovereign equality and obligation of non-intervention in the domestic affairs of other states and the principle of self-determination of people. Conference that among three types of PMCS, namely military provider firms should be limited, military consulting firms, military support to provide logistics should be supported. Request UN to establish commission on regulating private military security companies under Security Council. Give special status for PMC actors of interstate conflict in case they have received offer from official government. 
creates an international act of contract. Contract between the PMC and country which uh, hired it must follow certain rules which control its leg legitimacy. Encourage PMCs to make operating anti piracy action as one of the main factors. Guarantees cooperation by the government of the home state to the contracting state which has been financially damaged as a result of destruction actions of PSCS. Thank you all the delegates and all the chairs of the to voting for your final uh, resolution paper. I hope you're ready. Is there any objection? So, okay. Uh, so now, delegates who are in favor of this resolution paper. Just a moment, I forgot to remind you something. So, um, observing states, please refrain from raising your uh, black cards. So, that, like, not to like confuse us. We need to count uh, the votes. So, uh, the delegates who are in favor of this resolution paper, please raise your black cards high and keep them. Uh, with almost absolute majority, this resolution paper has passed. Congratulations. Thank you very much, honorable uh, delegates, dear friends, colleagues. Uh, this is the end of the uh, second Global Perspective Analytical Forum Diplomatic Assembly Model United Nations Conference 2019. Um, it was very um, and uh, hard to work with you because uh, 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 most of you unfortunately weren't aware of uh, the general, at least general rules of procedures. It's a bit sad. Uh, next time, just uh, take this uh, into consideration, yeah, into account. Um, but overall, I would say uh, you are um, like really best. All of you are best delegates for us, for the uh, dais, and also you are really, um, I would say, successful delegates, because uh, when we uh, first planned to uh, organize this uh, event once again this year, we opened and we uh, we were not, again as last year, we weren't planning to make it international, uh, but Anyway, we uh, received some applications from um, uh, over seven uh, countries uh, on the planet. Uh, unlike some, let's say, some uh, other um, conferences, we received from some prestige, like let's say, developed countries also, as Singapore, uh, United States, UK, as well as uh, from some African countries such as Uganda, Ethiopia, and uh, from Asian ones, so, uh, yeah, uh, South Korea, Pakistan, Afghanistan. So, you are like ones. Uh, what's more? Yeah, and also uh, from our institution, like educational institutions of Uzbekistan, if I'm not mistaken, uh, more than 20, like 20 uh, educational institutions we received from them, we uh, received uh, applications. Uh, and also, you are the first uh, delegates in Uzbekistan who uh, had to experience five states of delegate selection process. Uh, so you are historic, called people. 
uh, what's more. So now, uh, if you don't mind, we need to determine uh, the best of this uh, session, of this conference, I mean, the Security Council. Uh, now we have some nominees. Uh, Chair reminds you that we have uh, three uh, nominees. Yeah, I mean, um, like yeah, awards. Uh, it is uh, for best speaker. This will be given to a delegate. Uh, best delegate. This is also to a delegate. And best delegation. It is for delegation. It means two individuals, two two people. So, uh, and also as our president, who unfortunately, due to some um, circumstances, was absent today, um, he asked me uh, to also give something to uh, best position paper writers, uh, and also send, um, like, he, he, already, he has already determined it. Um, so, now we will proceed with, if you don't mind, uh, we will proceed with uh, determining the best. The first uh, nominee, like the first award is for best speaker. So now we will uh, announce uh, the nominees. Just taking note. So, uh, first nominee for best speaker award in uh, Security Council meeting today is United States of America, second, Turkey. Uh, class is not in order, oh, not hotel, yes. Uh, Yemen, uh, Venezuela, China, Belgium. Uh, first time, I guess, in the history of, the, of humanity, we have six uh, nominees here in the house. So I hope uh, you you will not have a uh, hard time to uh, clarify. So um, for the first nominee, United States of America, uh, delegates who are in favor of, uh, please raise your placards high and keep them. And one more thing, you cannot vote twice, and also you cannot. Stay abstain. Okay. So, one, two. Yeah. By the way, and um, delegates, like nominees, can also vote for yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, themselves. They can vote for themselves. So, so it is for best speaker. It is for best speaker. So, delegates who are in favor, please raise your placards high and keep them. One, two, three. Oh, for, for U.S., you mean? Uh, yeah, U.S. delegate. Uh, U, U.S. male delegate. So, so uh, like, who's, who, uh, who are in favor? Please raise your placards high and keep them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, it's simple majority. This uh, nominee has, uh, has been successful, and uh, the, uh, the delegate of the United States of America, male delegate of the United States of America, um, uh, full name, uh, Donia Ahmad John, uh, will be awarded with uh, best speaker today. So, congratulations. So you can just. So, um, the next nomination for best delegate, uh, delegation. So first, uh, uh, first nominee is Russian Federation. You are creating a chaos in the house, please be a bit civilized, be like, follow the culture, like, and I hope we understand. The next delegate is delegation is the Islamic Republic of uh, Pakistan. The third, China. People's Republic of China. So 
so yeah. Uh, so now, who are in charge for the first uh, nom nom nominee? Russia. Russian Federation. Rachel Packard's High and Kinder. One. Delegation. It is for best delegation. It means two delegates composing a delegation. So, uh, who are in favor, please? Rachel Packard's High and Kinder. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. Four. So, uh, who is in favor for the, de uh, the delegation of the Soviet Republic of Pakistan? Please raise your flag on Sahara and Kipa. One, two, three, five. You cannot walk twice. Who is in favor of uh, the third nominee? China. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So, let's Comparative majority, uh, the delegation of Russian Federation has, uh, has been successful. Uh, you can go to the next one. Yeah, what's that? Uh, change in Can we just one more time vote for the best delegation? I mean, the, the voting procedure was not clear. We didn't follow some. We did not like get some points. So why exactly the Russian Federation? Can we vote again? If if the all members agree. So where where did it mean when we were voting? I, I was here just. Like, what did you do? No, I, I was listening to you. So then. No, so look, it's five, five, seven, right? Yeah. How many of us are here? Twenty. Mm -hmm. What is the, the rest three? So I guess they decide to stay absent. Oh, if you say everyone should vote, maybe we should do it one more time. So I guess yeah. You're not. You're not. Okay. So um, chair uh, decides to carry out once again the voting procedure for um, determining the, the award for deleg best, uh, best delegation. So we have uh, best delegation. We have three nominees, Russia, Pakistan, China. Please, delegates who are in favor of Russian Federation. Raise your flag. Voting is mandatory. So, keep your black eyes high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Oh, okay. So I guess that 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 there's something. Uh, I mean, again, kind of how to say, locally. Um, Oriented people, like yeah. say some some uh, delegates are from Uzbekistan, World Bank University, Uzbekistan State World Bank University, Western State University, and like Oriental Studies, uh, U.S. St uh, students here. So I hope you will not uh, allow this. Please be fair and frank. Okay, because I saw something here. Your um, head delegate wants to raise that you were. <laughs> so you were for no. Okay, delegates, um, let's be back. So, delegates who are in favor of uh, uh, the nominee of Russian Federation, please raise your practice high and keep them. Yes. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten. Cool. So for Pakistan, please raise your flag as high. You cannot work twice. Voting is mandatory, obligatory. How many? Six. 
Oh, China. I guess it anyway it happened. One, two, please. Raise up like a sign and keep that. One, two, three, four. Four. So let's go to it again. So four. This one is for majority uh, Russian. The delegation of Russian Federation has been uh, successful. Congratulations, honorable delegation. So you have a photo here. Yeah, it will be better. Okay, thanks. Uh, we congratulate you on behalf of the uh, nine members. I uh, congratulate you uh, on this success. So, uh, next. Okay. Uh, so, the next award goes for uh, Best Delegate. It is best delegate. The previous was best delegation. So, for example, we are best delegation. I am like this. The guy is best delegate. Separate. Together. So, uh, first, the nominee is Yuman. Who's in favor of this nominee? Please raise your black cards high and keep them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, human male delivery. So, 10, right? For the US male delegate, who's in favor? Best, you cannot vote twice. Sorry, how many delegates are candidates? Three, I, Three. Know, maybe, I guess. US, Yemen, and third one? Turkey. Turkey. So, for US. <laughs> Um, Chair recognizes the United States of America. Uh, honorable delegates, please keep your attention to the House. The issue being discussed, the issue being processed. Right now, we are now uh, determining the best ones to be awarded. So we have now only third nomination left. This uh, award will, will go to the best delegate. So now we have three nominees. First, male delegate of uh, Yemen, US male delegate, Turkey female delegate. I hope you got it. Right? So, who is in favor um, of the first nominee, Yemen male delegate? Please raise your placards high and keep them, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven votes. Previously, it was ten. So, U.S. male delegate, please raise your black cards high and keep them. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, the last um, nominee, female delegate of Turkey. I don't think we need to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. Now, congratulations, uh, honorable delegate of uh, Turkey. So, congratulations, honorable delegates, uh, friends. So, we finally finished our session, and now it's you are totally free to do anything, uh, but except uh, breaking something or be a bit um, rational, well, act rationally. And, yeah. Yeah. No. So we have like. 
So now uh, we will move to uh, a unique awarding ceremony. We don't have any artists and singers or like uh, um, people from circus doing some like uh, tricks or like some things. Um, we just read your names out and provide with certificates. The certificates are unique too. You uh, first time in the history of Uzbekistan and Iran, your certificates are official ones because uh, they are um, yeah registered. They have a certificate number. No one can falsify. No one can change it in like coral draw, Photoshop, uh, paint, or something else. So. This like data base will be uploaded in our channel and Facebook. Uh, like, in, like if if you need this uh, certificate further in your further needs, you may use it without any fear. Thanks a lot. Let's shout out to Yoldashim. Could you call them? Yes, I can call them. Yes, I can call them. One more thing, we, unlike other MUNs, we don't have any positions. We only have positions of the uh, project itself, like global perspective and other people. So, uh, usually they have secretary general, uh, Under Secretary General for um, say Finance, uh, Under Secretary General for Public Relations, but um, like others, we don't have this kind of uh, positions. We only have uh, Director General, uh, Director, Deputy Directors, and we have two branches, uh, Translations Office and um, Diplomatic Assembly. Yeah. So, the so um, so um, okay. Let let me give you some uh, information about our project because now our uh, camera is not ready. Photo camera is not ready. So. Um, our project uh, was funded in the year 2012 by four uh, students. Uh, they have their own charter and they have their own framework. Uh, the main purpose of this project is um, uh, learning and uh, making research on certain regions. We have seven regions and uh, one uh, like section for international uh, organizations. Uh, yeah. So uh, until right now we have we have only two. Uh, like this is the second time we are organizing this kind of uh, conference. Uh, it is uh, according to the new uh, to the new uh, charter we are organizing this uh, event uh, within the uh, diplomatic assembly. Uh, one of the branches, one of two branches of uh, our project. Uh, so currently we have, uh, oh by the way, our secretary, official secretary general is here. Uh, he's um, Shazot Yudash, um, director uh, of Global Perspective and Legal Form. And this, uh, in this uh, event he is serving as secretary general of you. So, uh, one more thing. He doesn't have any undersecretaries. Uh, he's alone. He's been working alone. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, uh, we are very like sorry in front of you because we didn't know what happened with our president. Uh, uh, like indeed, uh, actually, uh, I wasn't uh, let's say assigned to uh, be with you. Like uh, I wasn't assigned to conduct it. Uh, also wasn't fully ready uh, for carrying out it today, but I just tried. And since I, uh, I would say, uh, I, 
formulated the um, general rules of procedure to apply uh, to our uh, models of uh, UN. Uh, it wasn't uh, that easy for me. So, um, what else? It's still not ready. Okay. So, I guess today uh, many of you were not uh, like uh, ready. For example, um, we almost didn't hear anything from the delegate of delegation of Dominican Republic, Equatorial uh, Guinea, Germany, who's uh, had or co-delegate this action, and uh, France was completely inactive. That was not uh, that that wasn't. Is it working? I don't know. So. But overall, all of you are best uh, outstanding um, delegates. I hope uh, and wish you will succeed in uh, your further uh, conferences. So now we will proceed. Finally, proceed with uh, awarding ceremony. Uh, 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 so. We will first start uh, awarding the delegates of crisis uh, committee since they have already finished their, um, their job today. So, crisis! Crisis! I, I, I don't think the uh, security is worse than the You're very nice. So, Shopping uh, Account, Makuramuga. The uh, chairperson of C. Uh, 
आज देख पाने के लिए फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्सिटी का फ्रेशमैन इन यूनिवर्सिटी फर्स्ट टाइम इज टेकिंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस एंड इवेंट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड योर एफर्ट एंड Jahangir Karim. One of the most intelligent guys in the. Sessions I have ever seen. <laughs> He's very active. He was very active last year. Was one of the best. Abdi Mumin Rozikulu. Actually, we called him today. He like he was. He didn't know that he would uh, come today. Like he had uh, other plans. So, Malika uh, Rahimwa. Muhammad Ali 
secara latih bawah
Let's begin with the best speaker of the conference. Security Council. Security Council. Donior Ahwan John. He was one of the best during the Security Council sessions. because last year also the best delegate was a male and this year also uh, the best delegate of the Security Council is Sadopat Zainidila. Uh, 
Uh, next uh, award goes to Esmira South Costa for best talent. graduating this year, this is our last uh, semester, no, uh, last year at uh, this university, and uh, we hope this tradition will be strictly uh, kept by our... Um... So, we have also uh, other uh, nominees. Certificate of Graduates is proudly presented to Nurshot Nurkulu for organizing this The same uh, certificate is presented to Shahzad Yuldashev. <laughs> certificate of graduate is proudly presented to Sanjar Bek Mingboy. This goes next. Uh, okay. So, this last next list. It shows one. Abdullah Sultan. Shadi Kram uh, Ramazan. Gulkumar uh, Rahim Mirjanova. Top 
Camilla Sabarjana. Sarunas Rahmatullayeva.